hello and welcome back so let's see how we can actually upload uh, an actual product so let's name this product uh, wait women's wear women's top something like this quantity maybe in a category of clothes uh... aha so we have all the images there and this is cool but now if we hit save we will get uh, the data that we want here quite all right uh, this is the item so let's see how to actually capture that data so let's go back to Ajax product and so for now we actually broke this system here which is not good so this is supposed to be an object it's expecting an object here right if this is an object and we set data type blah 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 then it goes in here loads the model and then it creates a product using that data so let's give it what it's used to seeing so here i'm simply going to do that and move this a bit lower so I will say uh, so what I want to do is convert the post array because this is a an array here into an object so I'll say data is equal to post like this but then I'll just put um, object here like this that's it so I've converted the post variable into an object and assigned it to data so if I ask is object this will be true so we'll do exactly what we've been doing so far and that's good so I don't need this you can leave that for reference in future now let's deal with files so once uh, I load the product model and then I want to create a product I may want to supply the files as well so I'll say data and then I'll say files like that so product create now where will files come from so in the same way uh, files will be equal to this one so let me cut that out now files is always present whether you send files or not so it's actually safe to just uh, add it there directly no need to do anything to it so and let's remove the die of course so let's go to create and change how it's receiving data so we'll go to the product class And then let's go to create there we go so it's expecting data and then let's put files as well now I don't need to equate it to uh, an empty object or an empty array because most of the time it will come as an empty array so no biggie so here create files good so once we start off here data is is this a uh, object here so everything in data is good the only issue is if files has stuff we should uh, save it as well so before we do this part let's check for files so if let's check if something is set if is set uh, even though we expect it there the image one has to always be there but uh, let's just check if it's set like that that's the first image actually instead of doing all this what I will do is mm -hmm. this is image one yeah the problem is uh, with doing a loop is because we will not know 
uh, no actually we can do a loop so let's do that let's say for each files careful with these double uh, dollar sign this is actually a valid variable like this in case you don't know in uh, PHP this is very valid code but it means something else I will probably do a tutorial on how to use such things in the near future okay so we say files as key and value so key value uh, this will be the image row like that now what I want to do is because I want to add files here like image and image to to the uh, to the query so in order for me to add them there they have to always be there regardless what's going on so I'll say image image 2 image 3 image 4 so let me copy this paste there put my full columns there and we are good so let's make sure they're always there so I'll put them right here they should go in the array so of course I'll see array like that let's set them to empty values for now like that okay so we set them to empty values so that regardless we can use them here but then we go through this uh, loop of files if we do find one then we add it to the appropriate section okay so plain and simple 